Team, why don't we go ahead and get suited up for the day? All right, All right sounds we'll see y'all later. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Mark, and we're trainers here at Shamu Stadium. You know, most of the folks at SeaWorld only get the opportunity to see our Shamu family while they're performing. We get to see them up close every day, and today, so will you. Hey, Laura, why don't you go check on the guys in the fish room? I'm going to start the plan for the day. Sounds good. All right. Hey, you guys, how's it going? Yeah. Smells like fish. <laughs> Everything going good? Everything's going great. Awesome, yeah. awesome. We did talk about increasing the babies today. Did you guys, uh, were you guys ahead of that game? So we want to increase the babies by a couple pounds today? Some of it last night. Okay, good, good, good. Well, I'm going to go over to the board and take a look, all right? You guys can keep doing what you're doing. Looks good. You're ahead of the game. We've got a team that comes in at 6 o'clock two hours really before anything really gets going, and they're met with over a thousand pounds of fish. It's a lot of work, a lot of lifting, carrying. You'll see that each bucket is labeled with our whale names. Right here, we've got Taima. Taima's gonna get eight, eight different buckets. Each whale has their own diet set up. We've got, uh, you'll see right here, we've got the names of all nine of our killer whales, and each one has a specific diet. We monitor their weight, their activity level, and then that's how we determine the breakdown of food. This is a herring. Uh, another variety is smelt. Can I have a smelt? Do we have a smelt? A couple smelts. So you see this is a different variety. And then of course we've got salmon. We'll stuff the herring with vitamins. We actually give our killer whales vitamins. They're not uh, Flintstone or chewable, basically. We just put them into the fish, they swallow them, and that's just to supplement their diet with uh, vitamins and minerals. This refrigerator, at the end of this party we're throwing here at 6 a.m., will be loaded with fish. You guys are almost done. We're gonna get dressed and we'll come back for our first round of buckets. I think we have some hungry whales out there, so thanks for preparing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, way to go. <laughs> Well, this is our planning board. This is a great way to balance our killer whales' lives every day. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Yeah, we've got two shows today, and we've got a 1.30 and a 5.30. And what I've done, I was able to get all the whales performing in both our shows today. So what I've done, I've separated the K group to take care of that 1.30 show, and then the T group's going to fill in for the 5.30 show. We use an acronym to make sure that we're balancing the whales' daily plan every day, starting with and H-E-L-P-R-S, all together, says helpers. So we've broken each letter down to actually mean something. It means a certain type of session for all of our killer whales. How about the H? The H stands for husbandry. Husbandry are the behaviors that allow us to take care of the animal's health. For example, taking voluntary blood samples, urine samples, um, dental examinations, body examinations, and we actually have Dr. Dole, our veterinarian, who's gonna be making his rounds today to do routine body exams on our killer whales. One of my favorites is an exercise session. It's important that all of our trainers stay physically fit as well as our killer whales. And then for the next one, the L stands for learn. Holly, one of our trainers, has been working for about two years with this one whale, Katina, and now it's her time to get in the water with the animal. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up a water work session where Holly has her first experience with the killer whale. So today is her miracle day. 
And then the P stands for playtime. So we're gonna actually take them back to our G pool where there's the underwater viewing and we're gonna give them a bunch of toys, barrels, balls, discs, you name it. These guys have a lot of fun playing with a lot of different types of toys that we've created. Right. Oh, look what Mark gave me. He gave me a relationship with Katina. So I'm getting to live vicariously as I watch Holly today in the, her first session, and then I get to have a rub down, just a wonderful bonding time with my favorite killer whale. You're good to me. <laughs> and the last letter of the acronym is SHOWS. Uh, SHOWS are, in essence, training sessions because all the behaviors that the animals perform are actually all our training sessions encompassed in one. And that's what we do for our shows. Every day here is a little different, and this one is exceptional. So thanks for joining us. I'm ready to go. Are you? Let's go. All right. All right. All right, breakfast time. All right, come on, Mama. Come over. Come and have some breakfast. You're ready for breakfast. What you doing? You're so precious. Come here. This is Katina. She is the matriarch of the... Uh, of our whole pod here. We've got nine killer whales, and uh, Katina has had six baby whales. This is her baby right here, too. This is Nalani. This is baby Nalani. So this is Katina's calf, and uh, she's the 18-month-old, and she's just cute as can be. Uh, we're having a lot of fun, really, uh, learning from her and teaching her a lot of new things. She's learning to squirt, and she's learning to stick her little tongue out, yes. And she's also learning to be a big girl uh, with her mom, while the trainers get to do a lot of stuff with the mom stuff, yeah. So she's learning to be big and brave and very independent. So uh, it definitely can be challenging at times, working with a baby whale, you know. But um, it's really incredible to see the, the learning curve and, and how much they can learn so quickly and how fun you are. Yes, you're so fun. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. You're so fun. Now, this is how you feed a killer whale. It's not just one or two fish at a time. You give them a big honking handful. Look at this. She gets close to 200 pounds of fish every day. So, in the morning, they're hungry. Right, Mama? Tina, like I said, she's had six babies, and each killer whale has a couple different little features. One of, one, the way I want, look for her when she's coming at you from underwater, close your mouth, baby, she's got a little white spot right here. And from, from the deep, you can see that white spot coming at you. So each whale has a little signature mark. Roll over, let me show my favorite way to touch you. They also have little tiny hair follicles right here. See those little tiny hair follicles? They are mammals, so they have hair at one time in their life. They lose those at about a year, and they also are air breathers. You see a good look at her blowhole right there, and they do nurse their young. You can see she's very relaxed. She loves to have her tail rubbed as well. Very nice. All right, how's, how's Kayla doing, Mark? This is Kayla. She's a 19-year-old female, weighs about 5,600 pounds, and she is just sweet as could be. Her little beauty marks that we look for, because they all look very similar. But she's got this little freckle right here on her lower jaw, and then she, on the, her nose, she's got this little tiny white spot. And Kayla just loves to be squeezed. You can just squeeze her as hard as you want. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Do you not want this? Hey. Do you not want this? No? How about it? How about this? No? Oh boy. You want this? You want the whole thing? Oh, you are just being silly. There you go. This is Kalina, and she is the original baby Shamu. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about that because when she was born on September 26th, right here at SeaWorld of Orlando, she made world history by being the first killer whale to be born and thrive in the care of man. We've had the privilege of interacting with her for the last 23 years, and I tell you what, being with Kalina is priceless. <laughs> this is the whale that taught me how to do water work, and uh, she was very patient with me. Um, they're very, very gentle. As big as they are, it truly is amazing just how gentle they are with their massive size, but. Um, she is my best friend here at SeaWorld Orlando, and I just, I love her with all of my heart. One of the things I think I love about her the most 
is she really enjoys interacting with people. She'll think of games to play with us, and she loves to be with more than one person at a time. She also loves to be with just one, just to snuggle and everything, but this whale right here loves to have 10, 15 trainers interacting with her all at the same time. Typically it's one-on-one, -on -one, so this is just a variety. So right now she's got two, four, six, eight hands on her. See, she's like being a big boat, she loves it. Oh, she's invited more in. Can you believe this is our job? We swim with, play with, and love killer whales for a living. Tina. Thank you, Tina. I love this whale because she's a gift to me. She's mooing at you. Yeah? Are you crying? I've been with this whale since I was 18 years old. And I've seen her have all four of her babies. We've grown up together. Huh. We've grown up together, and um, she will always be the baby shampoo for me. And uh, just, she's been some of the happiest memories, thoughts, times of my whole life. So she loves you too. She's the best. <laughs> All right, the training sessions you see going on backstage are a variety of training sessions. We have from husbandry sessions going on to jumps and aerials and exercises out front. But one of the things that are least recognized and the type of sessions that are probably the most critical for us are separations, moving one animal from one pool to another. And that's asking them to leave the group. And we can only ask them voluntarily. We can't make these animals do anything they don't want to do because they're not machines by all means. So when we ask them to go through a gate and we close the gate, We'll reinforce them, bring a lot of attention to that desired behavior, and that's what we call positive reinforcement. And if they do it correctly, well, they, we give them everything that they enjoy. Why that's so important is because if we have to take an animal out to do a training session, well, if you have other animals swimming around in the same pool, that can interfere with your training session. Also, if we're doing shows, each show has different segments. The discovery segment, share the joy, far greater. And those are like scene changes in an actual theater where you actually have to pull the curtain. Well, we don't have a curtain, but we do have to do separations, moving animals from the back to the front. And that's how we go about our training. Okay, let's go check on our babies. Hey, how are the baby angels doing? which then just draws them closer to us as well. Hey, Dr. Dold, I got a special delivery for you. Oh, thanks. Hey, who's that from? Taima. She looks oh, great really today. Oh, good. Fantastic. Right, awesome. This will be perfect. We'll take this back to the lab and... Uh, we can analyze it and take a look at hormones, see how she's cycling and where she is in a reproductive tract. Can uh, we take a look at the other guys and the kids specifically? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. 
Okay. So Excellent. We, yeah, she looks great. Uh, her body condition looks very good. And, and, and you're saying she's eating fish really well right now? Yeah, she's eating the herring really well. She's done great with the smelt. So if you if you say go, we'll go. Yeah, I think right. turning her up a couple of pounds, increasing the amount of fish she eats is only going to help. So that's perfect. And uh, can you do me a favor there, Joe? Sure. Just ask her to take a deep breath so I can look down her blowhole. Sure. Excellent. All right, that's terrific. It looks really good, and of course, you know, we do that just so we can look down and down her airways and, and make sure she doesn't have any abnormal secretions or uh, or any weird runny nose or anything like that. So that's good. good it looks girl. great. Yeah, you, you, you. Come on, Mama. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's a big patient. I'm gonna come over here by you, Don. Well, our body condition looks fantastic. Big girl. Looks very clean. Beautiful girl. Her appetite's good. She's doing well behaviorally, yeah. right? Yep, she looks great. Fantastic. Awesome. Excellent. Well, seeing her slid out like this reminds me. Uh, can we take a look at uh, at the big guy here? Sure. See how he's doing? Look Massive. Here. Wow. Yeah. Good boy. Well. <laughs> Yeah, from that view, he looked great. Is there any chance we could slide him up on the scale and actually see just how much he weighs? Here we go. <laughs> good boy. You're a good boy. Yay! Good boy, too. Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's right at about 12,000 pounds. That's, that's incredible. He looks fantastic. This exercise program is, is paying off. You know, he's, yeah. he's got a great body condition. And, uh, and the fact that he can move that size around is, is so impressive. Is there any chance we can take a look at him a little bit closer here? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, okay. uh, you want to come up on the scale with yeah, us? Yeah, we can walk up on All the right. scale. That's excellent. Come on, big boy. Show the steps. Look at him. So 12,000 pounds. He's <laughs> the biggest killer whale in the SeaWorld family, right? Yes, He's our big boy. Sure and, and this sounds bizarre to say, but you know, when I, when I look at him, it's just basically like doing a, an exam like I would do with the family dog, except it's just on a much larger scale. You know, we look for the same things. We take a look at his skin, we look at his, uh, at, at, at make sure he doesn't have any bumps or bruises, scrapes or anything like that, and, and he doesn't, he looks fantastic. Ah, there we go. Boy. Look at his chompers. Look at his tongue. Oh, Take a look got? at his eyes real quick while they're right got here looking him? at us. And yes. they, they look perfect. Okay. Want a whistle? <laughs> right, so he can talk to us. That's yeah, you got it. Yeah. Say. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was really loud. Sure. No offense. Excuse me. Okay, go back. Finish your exercise with Dave and Lynn. High jumps. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. What we're going to do right now is rehearse one of the segments of our show called The Flood. This is the part where everybody dives in the water and swims across the pool and then basically carries, uh, carries themselves over into the audience. Now, this is a very physical part of our show, and this is where a lot of our training comes in, where you have to have endurance and stamina. And these trainers that are actually performing this segment have to go through a coaching or a training process and then get approved through our entertainment department in order to work here. There we go, we're getting the music ready for our rehearsal. Why don't we go ahead and fire off, guys. Now the timing is so critical because you want everybody to reach the glass at the same time. The divers jump in, and now everybody's gonna disappear underwater because we want everybody to come up with the element of surprise all at the same time. Time. There we go. Good job, guys. Excellent. Oh, that's just powerful, isn't it? I get goosebumps every time I see this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is where pros at. Get the crowd going. All right. There you go. <laughs> Go team. A little believe here. Go team. Oh, there are a little we believe. Does it work for three? Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. We believe. What are you guys doing? Hey, we've got a really fun session planned for Kayla. We good to go? Cool. Can we watch? Uh, definitely. All right. Yes. Let's Let's do great. it. Well, she's a cat.
slack in the water. Yeah. And she just, she'll let you hop on her back and just lay there forever. And just, I'll close her eyes, and it just seems like she's so, she's just as happy as I am to be in the pool. She's so happy right now. We work with them so hard. We do the absolute best we can. We spend so much time with them that we would love to know what they're thinking, but we don't. So the fact that we cannot fully communicate with them is the most difficult part for me. But if I could get into their head for five minutes, <laughs> I would absolutely love to. But she was the very first whale I ever got to swim with. She was your first whale too, She was right? my first whale. So she's your first love, right? She is. I think she wants us to push her in again. <laughs> okay! Is that what you're waiting for? Is it? I can't. It is. Playtime is a little different. Sometimes we throw giant play toys in the water with the whales, like barrels, balls, and discs. The whales love to push the objects around. They especially love when we play with them. A game of catch or an all-time favorite is a game of retrieval. Get it! on top of the toy. Oftentimes, the whales will initiate new behavior, too. <laughs> Mimic play is another way of having fun with our killer whales. Kind of, I do, you do. The whales love it. Every single playtime is a little different, and it's a great way to build a relationship with our Shaman family. <laughs> Our job is so physically demanding. To perform the behaviors we do and believe each day, our trainers have to be in the best possible shape. Much of our time is spent conditioning. We had a specialized fitness trainer who spent three days watching what we do. From all the aerials such as the hydro hop, the rocket hop, fast swim rides, the hydro slide, and all sorts of dismounts off the whales, even to the thousands of pounds of fish we carry in our buckets every day. He then created an exercise program that was tailored to help improve the physical performance as well as help prevent injuries. The exercises in the training program focus on building muscle strength, flexibility, aerobic, plyometric, and other anaerobic exercises that will help improve physical performance and assist in reducing the likelihood of injuries. Some of these exercises include core muscle building exercises like the bench press, squats, leg press, and a variety of abdominal and lower back exercises on a fitness ball. So if you're riding on a whale, you've got the down so you can do squats. Or you can move, I like doing this so you can move your feet in and then get to the one foot. If I can do it. And then you see how long you can hold it for. Elliptical, treadmill, and bicycle machines to help develop endurance and stamina. We get to work out and look at this at the same time. <laughs> Does it really get any better than that? The exercises you see the trainers performing we're all specifically designed by our fitness trainer to simulate the balance, strength, and agility necessary to perform the high energy maneuvers you see performed and believe. Aside from our normal work day, we are required to work out a minimum of 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Awesome, guys. Good work out. Good work out. All right. Whales? Whales. Hey, guys. Can we gather around one minute, yeah. please? 
Yes. All right. The morning going good so far? Yes. All right, great. Well, Laura and I have some exciting news. Today we are going to start Holly on her waterworks session with Tina. Yes. Right. I've been wanting to do this since I was six years old. I came to SeaWorld with my grandparents. They were so great and brought me here and exposed me to this amazing gift that the animals and, and that relationship that we have. And ever since then, it's been this passion of mine. I can't wait to do it today. I just. I've, I've been imagining it, I've been dreaming about it, and it's, it's here, it's today. <laughs> We're ready! Got it, got your balance, got your heart on. All right, you're ready, she's ready for you. What we're gonna do, um, you're gonna be in the water with me over there, and then Laura's gonna pick up Tina, and then Lindsay's gonna be with Milani in the slide over. Okay, both of you and I are going to slip in. Laura's going to point us Tina. You're going to receive Tina straight in front of you like this. There you go. And then when you're going to ask her to line up to the left, we're going to stop her and just run her down and just love on her a little bit, okay? And then at which point I'm going to say, okay, hop up. You're going to hop to your knees, and then you're going to ride her into stage. Okay. All right? Okay. There you go. Now just... Hop on. You got it. Good. Looky there. Ah. Woo-hoo! Coming by you, Lynn. There you go. Good. Good, Good Holly. Holly. Great. She's doing it. You can go ahead and sit upright if you want a little bit. Just sit upright. There you go. Okay, go ahead and start standing up. Use your hands to help you up. There you go. Got Just it. feel her move. Try to feel her move. Good. Keep moving. Just ride it through the slide out. Good job, Holly. Good. Stay there. Okay, go ahead and ready for the, ready to dive off. Dive. Perfect. Straddle, pick up. Good girl. All right, Holly. Let's get in knees. You're going to ride it through the corner. Okay, when you get on the straightaway, go ahead and come up to your feet again. Go ahead, come on All up. All right, easy, Good easy. Good job. Just keep riding her. Now feel her. Feel her moving. Try to feel her moving. Try okay. to feel that motion. Good. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? Go ahead and hop off. show you something right now, get your game on, because you're going to be doing this probably in about five years, okay? You're going to be doing one of the most incredibly dangerous, exhilarating, beautiful behaviors ever called a hydro. Lizzie, this is, so we have the new and now we have the veteran. Liz was one of the first creators of this behavior back in about 19, what, 78? 78. She was the first woman to ever actually do this behavior right here in this stadium. You ready? Okay. All right, show us how to do it, Lizzie. This is the original baby Shamu. She's gonna go, she took a dive down right now, and she's going 36 feet to the bottom of the pool. Tremendous grace, coordination. Look at this. Instead of jumping off the nose, you have your feet on their pectoral flippers. Perfect timing coming up, and you slingshot. Woo! Beautiful. Yay! Look at that. 
that. Gorgeous. It's all about timing. Oh, we just did those corps together, and we're supposed to be exactly side by side. And after the second one, I glanced to my left, and I didn't see her anywhere. So I was squatting, 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 waiting for her underwater. And I said, thanks for waiting, because I was rushing and she was squatting. So we made a good team. Relationship. You've got to be extremely coordinated, confident, but yet you have to remain humble because you never forget you're working with the top predator. So it's all about relationship. Relationship is number one. That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. all these trainers that I work with. I mean, I don't know anywhere else that you can go and work and have, the, you know, 30 best friends. I think with each of the trainers, I've built different relationships, just as I have with each of the whales. And so it's so fun. I come to work every day looking forward to who I'm going to get to see and who I'm going to get to laugh with. One, two, three. We believe! The camaraderie between us, uh, you can't beat it. Oh, this is such an amazing team, and, and we work very hard, and because of that, I think it draws us even closer. The whales, the people that I work with, uh, this is my family. Everyone here has been so welcoming. It's, whether it's the animals, whether, whether it's the people, it's just, this is my home. What a great honor this is to, to be working with these whales and, and to be doing the things that we're doing every day. Gosh, do I love coming out here every day and having the audience just love what we're doing with the animals. How do I make this animal as beautiful as they are and, and have people walk away loving this animal and they're touched and they're moved and I feel like I made a difference to them. You realize that there's a lot you can learn from animals. Just because you can't talk to them or have conversations, there's so many ways to, to build on relationships and to understand each other. And just, I mean, just to be here with these animals is truly it's an incredible experience. And it makes me feel like the whole Believe journey is something that we're not only living, but we're really sharing with these kids every day. And we really are having the effect that we want to with them. They are believing in their dreams because we believe in ours. Every day, we picture 5,000 people coming into this stadium one way and going out different, changed forever. Because of Believe, because of these whales, because of this team, this is what matters most, that the people, the guests, our visitors from all over the world come into SeaWorld, make connections, memories, celebrate, and have a whole new commitment and concern for animals and each other. And I get to do it with you. We'll never know all the mysteries and wonders of the natural world. 
for all the species of life known. There are millions more unknown. This show reinforces our ties with the sea, our dependence on it, our respect for it, and our ability to protect and preserve it. Anything is possible when you believe!